Zanzi, yeah. welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show and getting you in the mood for hustling. Yes, <laughs> focusing on all things side hustle. And we're joined in studio by an absolutely dynamic young digital creator and financial literacy coach. Her name is Talia Plaikis, who is on a mission to empower millennials with essential money management skills through engaging education. Now, I've needed this for all my years back then, but mm -hmm. it's here and I'm celebrating it. So together we'll be discussing the surging trend of side hustles and how they're shaping the economic landscape for younger generations. That's right. Yeah. Talia Plank is it's wonderful Good to have morning. you. In Thank you very Good much. Good morning. Thank and uh, we, we we spoke quickly off air. I'm I'm so happy that you are doing what you are doing yeah. as a side hustle, which is which is great. Mm. Let's start off. Why did you decide to go this route with regards to financial literacy, mm. educating millennials as a as a kind of a side hustle for you? Because I think this is a tricky I think a bubble to navigate, especially for young people nowadays who's entering that professional environment. Yeah. So I was fortunate enough to start my career in the financial services industry. And it was literally my job to educate people on investing, the product. Uh, and I learned so much and I really wanted to share that information with other people too. But I wanted to make it fun and cool and fashionable. So I started oh. Fashionably Financial because I wanted to make finance cool and relatable to young people my age. Because it is something that scares a lot of people. I mean, when it comes to, to money and the management thereof, if you don't know what you're doing, I mean, it's a scary world out there. It is, and I love the fact that you've done something different because in this day and age with this bulk of information around, right, it's important to stand out. So, fashion by financial, I absolutely love that. I was gonna <laughs> ask you, like, how have you implemented the strategy, but you absolutely nailed it there. <laughs> and that really is the reason for why I think people didn't engage with financial financial in literacy or any content because it's like, oh, it's a drain, yeah. it's that negative association. And you've beautifully changed that. Was, was that the strategy? Was that the intention when you started this? Was the strategy to kind of implement insights that are engaging and fun because you didn't see anybody engaging with it initially? Yes, I wanted to kind of do that for the people in my age group. And I felt like I'm able to take complex concepts and break them down into bite-sized chunks. And I kind of look towards trends that are happening on yes. social media, like TikTok and what our local Instagrammers are doing, and kind of bring that together, add my own little bit of flavor, and make sure that the content is positive around money. So making sure that people are investing and saving, but then also, you know, building a sustainable spending plan as well, because mm. Life is also for living, so yes. we do have to make sure we do that. Absolutely, and if you take a look at something like uh, financial literacy, I mean, you can go dive into it, mm. but there's just so much out there, it could be incredibly intimidating. Mm. So it's, 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 I'm, I'm glad to hear that you are breaking it down for us, but we are here this morning to fill the cups of our viewers, specifically more millennials as well, who's entering, like I said, that professional space as well. So what are some of your, I think, top, tips, ideas, strategies for looking for a good side hustle, uh, finding it, starting it, and then making it successful, still, of course, balancing the other responsible or the responsibilities that they might have in their lives. Yeah. Paying the bills. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay the bills. <laughs> so I think when it comes to a side hustle, it should be something that you're either passionate about or that you are really good at. If you can do both together, amazing. But it definitely has to be one of those two things because you are going to be doing it outside of your main responsibilities. Mm. So you're going to be, you know, doing it early in the morning or after work or on the weekends. So it has to be something that you can do even when you are exhausted and you don't feel like doing any more work. It has to be something that really drives you. And that's why we say it has to be a passion because if there's a passion, that energy comes naturally as well. Yeah, mm. so I would imagine then on the flip side of that, that would be one of the pitfalls if there are any others. I mean, a lot of people right now, I'm sure, are incentivized and encouraged by this conversation and maybe thinking about, hey, maybe this is my sign to start my side hustle. With someone as experienced as you, what sort of uh, shortfalls should they be looking out for? What sort of like warnings do you have that yeah. you've maybe experienced that you can guide <laughs> in, in, in a better, in a more efficient direction? Yeah. So I think something is often people think that their side hustle is going to be an overnight success yeah. and it can replace their main hustle. Yeah. And 
I think that a side hustle takes consistent hard work over a long period of time. Of course, some people, their side hustles do turn into an overnight success, and that's amazing. But for the majority of people, I think it takes a little more time to do that. Mm. And another thing is, often we think side hustles you have to do by yourself. I think that I would encourage people to do it with somebody else because it really is quite difficult. And having a partner or a mentor on your journey is just so, so important to you. Mm. Yeah, especially if you still have to service all your other responsibilities as well. But it is important to find a like-minded person as well. Yes. Um, just quickly, I mean, you are doing so much fashionable finance. I like that. <laughs> um, where can people reach you? Where can they get hold of you, check out your content? Yes. So you can find me on Instagram, fashionably underscore financial. I'm on TikTok too. And then I also have a YouTube page, just Talia Plikis. And yeah, that's where you can find me. Oh, Talia, thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> Absolutely incredible educating us. And I think you're going to continue doing that further online. So Mzanzi, you know where to go. It's time to get your side hustle on. <laughs>